Funny angles, that's where videos happen. Cars! Yes, we're at a funny angle because we've got the Wilco's Roadsters Ultimate Collection, which only cost me £10 instead of 20 £10 for these cars was far too much. But what are Wilco Rose Roadsters? Roadsters. They're a brand that Wilco makes. Uh, they're toy cars. They're die cast, apparently. And if we look on the back, you can see some perfect examples of the uh, technically meant to be more interesting ones. Mmm. But here's the thing. These are not standard Wilco Roadsters. These are a much cheaper brand that's, well, I don't understand why they're branded under the Wilco Roadsters. And the reason they were reduced, if you look, is not stocked. Meaning, as far as I can tell, that Wilcos don't actually stock these and they got shipped and I don't know why. But if we look at these, they look a bit cheap. Because we also have um, an actual Wilcos Roadster, what they tend to have as the Roadsters. And a matchbox, which are going to be acting as comparisons. So we'll just quickly open these ones so we can uh, see the comparisons. So you can see the difference between what a real roadster looks like, which aren't technically bad quality cars. They're not brilliant quality, but they're not terrible. So here's a roadster. It's got a die-cast top. It's got that sort of black, can't-see-through plastic I like. It is actually quite cheap and nasty, to be fair. They're much worse than I remember them being the last time I looked at them. But that's a roadster. Um, you never know, they might actually be the same quality. I may have just spoken myself up. But that's the example of that. That cost, I don't know, about a pound. And so did this matchbox. Hot Wheels, rather. Hot matchbox. <laughs> this Hot Wheels, yes. Which is a much nicer model, obviously. It's printing is much nicer. It's die casting is nicer. It paints feels a bit weird. Excellent axles, you know, and it's uh, got a load, a load of stuff on the bottom you can read. So the examples, we will also, for good measure, be using... This as well, which I obviously brought at a car boot sale, um, which was probably last week's video, and if not, you should recognise this anyway. Uh, and so these are our three base models. So I'm going to take these out, and we're basically we're going to look at all of these, and I'm going to tell you if I think they're bad or not. And if they're bad, they're going to end up on this side, and if they're good, they're going to end up on that side. And, uh, hmm, yeah. Uh, and I wasn't planning on doing these today, but it's like, I'm trying to tidy my house, and I need to get rid of some stuff. And by get rid of, I mean... Well, you know what I mean. Oh, oh, oh. Look, it's an empty box. Here you go, Pidge. Oh, sorry. And look, it's a piece of cardboard. You can make that as a poster. That would be a really nice poster for a moron. So, yes, we have, what is it, 50 cars? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, 14, 21, 28. Anything, something, 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 numbers. I'm good. Now, some of these cars are duplicates of each other as well, so you'll have the same car twice, like these two, for example. But let's, let's start with these two as an example of the same car. See, they're right next to each other, the same car, AD, which if you're on Twitter means you know means after dark. So I'm expecting there to be some kind of pornographic imagery going on inside this car. Hmm, yes. Um, they do actually feel really nasty, mind you. They're not that much different to this one, to be fair. It's got a slightly more solid base, and this one actually has screws in the bottom. Screws holding your cars on. That's kind of uncommon, to be fair. They normally have uh, your... Um, ba -ba 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 I can't remember what they're called, but they normally have those. Um, yeah, these are horrible. This is... Uh, let's just hold them. So this is cheap and nasty. The paint. Can I scratch it off with a finger? Uh, I don't know how well they roll. How, how well do you roll? Let's see. Well, they roll, I suppose, but uh, they're both cheap and nasty. There's a bit of printing on the front, but they're not good. Not good. Not good. So let's just start from this side. <clears throat> so we've got Turbo, Turbo, Turbo. It doesn't actually have an interior, which surprises me. Um, that just looks almost cancerous with its lump, much like the autofocus. No, nope, that's pretty awful. This is going to be a quick video, isn't it? Everything's going to be badly awful. Oh, that one. Uh, uh, ah, ah, there we go, we got you out. Right, now these ones have a different wheel design. Um, obviously it's a Jeep, there's no kind of plastic in there, you can literally stick your finger through. That's surprisingly sharp. Ow. Uh, oh. <laughs> just look at that, there's nothing on the front. It's just, it's just flat fronted. It's like a bloody four year old child. There's nothing. It's just flat. That's bloody awful, that is. Here we go. That's awful. But can it do... Can Is it compatible with other toy sets? Because it's got a tow hook. No! 
It's not even compatible with other toy sites. You can't even tow this caravan. This caravan cost 33 pence. And it's better than this lot that cost me a tenner. Oh, awful. Bloody awful. Right, next one. Ah, we've seen one of these before. Construction group. Yes, we've seen one of these before. It appeared in one of the um, blind bag box things we did. It's got a thing on the front. It's got a lights on the top. We don't know why. It's construction group. It's... Well, the die casting is better. I mean, is anything going to end up on the right-hand side here? Oh, God, for crying out loud. No, that goes on the left because that's awful. Right. One of two... Uh, race cars. We was different on this one. Uh, that is technically... Yep, that is definitely die cast. I probably caught a horrible disease doing that. Wilco's. Mm. That's not terrible. I mean, it's bad. It's not terrible, though. It's actually got some kind of Disney design on it. It's consistent. That's passable. That's passable just. Oh, God. Yep, we've got... Uh, Fire, fire station. Let me just uh, set the focus. There we go. So now I hold it at this angle. Fire station. Delightful. God, that's cheap. I wonder if I can just. I, I just. I just. I just want to. I just. Oh, where's my work bag? Ugh. Come here, work bag. I have a new work bag. It's very posh. It will probably make a far more interesting video just to look at this bloody bag than it would be to look at those uh, toy cars. Right. Time for a quality test. Hmm. Fire rescue needs some fire and rescue, I'd say. Hmm. That's a really easy way to write off a car. It's just kind of damage these bits. They can't fix cars after that. You do any damage to those and they tend to just write it off immediately because it completely screws over the building. Nope, that's awful. But that passed the test. Same as turbo, although it's green so we can see it a bit either. It's arrow, arrow, arrow. Cantress on the front. Arrow. Nope, that one's actually held up quite well. On the front, on the side though, I bet you I can. Oh, uh, crack. Yeah, I should probably stop doing that because I'm going to ruin these before I even get them to work. Oy. I'm on to the last one now. It's a construction group sports car. Vroom, vroom, nee, nee. I don't even need these comparisons. Would you like to spend 10 pence on this? Or 10 pence on this. Because one of these probably cost 10 pence to build. Mind you, that probably cost 10 pence back in the day to build. But, you know, which one would you rather have? It's a no-brainer. God, these are awful. These are um, pretty much all of these are going straight in the bin after this. This is terrible. It's like some kind of cult. It, a DJ. It's some kind of cult. Had a car. But the budget was awful. This is what that car would be. Oh my goodness, I can't even make this entertaining because these things are just so bad. I don't even want to go through them. Let me go skip that one because I can't get them out. Now, fire truck. Now, this one, this one isn't actually bad if you look at it. It's got some nice detailing on it, which I can't focus. It's got some nice detailing, emergency units. The wheels are terrible, but these, these aren't actually stickers. These are actually printed on uh, in the plastic rather and painted. That's actually kind of nice. Fire department, you can't see inside, so you can't see how cheap it is inside. Number eight, that's actually quite nice. That's one of the ones that gets to go on the right-hand side. Now, uh, come on. There we go. A lovely police cruiser. He's had a bit of an accident. Obviously, he was chasing a suspect at high speed and hit a old granny somewhere, but it doesn't matter because he's in the metro, which means he might be American, so he can probably shoot everybody and they won't care. Hmm, politics. Uh... Ooh. Fix up. You can fix up these toy cars. No, you can't. No, is that 52 or S2? 52 or S2. What's that on the top? Oh, for goodness sake. Pit crew. Oh, so this is a pit crew based car. Okay, so this is for your Formula One type cars, which actually kind of goes with the fueler because you use the fueler to fuel it with Formula One and you'd have the caravan we show and the fire engine would be there to make sure everything's alive. This is how cities work. It's going over there because it's crap. Oh, God. Here we go. Number seven, it's a race car. It ain't going to win any races, mainly because it's going over there. 
You can, I think you can see where most of these toy cars are going to end up. Um, I, 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 just, uh, I can barely make a video out of these because they're just so uninteresting. Oh, there we go. We've had one of these. There we go. Let's pull the duplets up, see how many of these we have. Is that one as well? Oh, for goodness sake. Come on. There we go. So we've got three of these. Three. Three cars. They're all racing cars, which I suppose if you're doing a 24-hour marathon, you would want three. Look. Uh... Well, at least we get to have a look at what's internal. So here's the die casting. It's not actually terrible. It does appear that they've glued or riveted or something the plastic in place. Um... That wasn't intentional, that just came apart of my hands. Uh, you got your nice cheap plastic inlay there, it is literally just a piece of plastic. And of course then you have your uh, axles. It saves me destroying the car because it's destroyed itself. Uh, right, well, we've already had this. So, God, these are not easy to get out, I tell you. Flipping X teeth. We've already had one of these, so that can go over there. I just, I just cut myself on this bally thing. We've already had one of these. We've already had one of these. Ah, come on, come on. Jeez, oh, we've already had one of these. Wow, the duplicates, my friends, the duplicates. What am I supposed to do? And I forgot to set the autofocus, so you've just been watching blurriness. God, right. Got another Formula One car, I'm not even pulling it out. I can't even be bothered to pull these out. These are some of the worst toy cars I've ever looked at. Here's something different. It's a motorcycle. Except it's not because it's obviously meant to be, like, um, you know, for flattening. Um, you know, that thing that in Stephen King's movie type thing when it ran over that kid and the scene was banned in Europe. Uh, yeah, whatever. That's, that's not terrible. Um, it is very plasticky. Uh, it's not staying in focus, which is really annoying. It's got some nice detailing. It's got a seat there. I mean, it's obviously it's far too thin to be useful, but that can go on the right. That can be one that we can keep on the right, which brings three cars. There you go. We've got, out of all the cars we've gone through already, there are three there that are not in focus that we're keeping. Ah, uh, let's have this one out, right? Here's another fire engine, another emergency based fire engine. Now, it's got first aid kit written on it, so obviously there's a first aid kit there. I've just... Is this meant to... I mean, this does turn, but bloody hell, that's stiff. Stiff the first time. Okay, this probably isn't meant to come off, so if we just um, filter that in through there... There we go, we'll just pretend that stayed on. Um, oh, does it extend? Oh, it does extend. Huh. <sighs> that's, again, not fantastic, but not god-awful. Um, China written on the bottom. Boots, rivets. Not as nice as the other fire engine, but that's passable. We will let that pass because, hey, we need to get something good out of this. Let's pull the other unique-looking one out, or one of them. It's a tank. Already, I can tell you, this tank's going to have serious issues in combat because its barrel doesn't depress. Right, what does it say on it? Um, 6.9BD Zada... Zada. 69B is Zada. Mmm. Got your typical wheels on the bottom. It's a tank. It's turret rotates. Is there anything underneath the turret? Nope. It's completely hollow. Um, this would not be a very effective fighting machine. It's a bit too small. Now, do I put it there or here? Well, it's more interesting than everything else going on at the moment, so we can go over there. I can't even be bothered to get half these damn things out. Hello? I'm keeping this car, so at the start of every video I do, I can go, hello, and hold this car. Otherwise, it's a cheap racing car. It does actually have a semi-interesting looking interior. It's a Wellington. Definitely the Wellington. Pidge is attacking a Bonnie plush. That's where his exhaust goes. Uh, yeah, that one could go there. Crusher! Na 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 crusher! Na 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 crusher! Na 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 Crush. Uh, oh, gosh. That's, hmm. Okay, I can't crush that one. Oh, that was very anticlimactic. Uh, crusher, you've let me down. That's not terrible. That one actually feels fairly passable. I mean, it's still going over there because it's crap, but it's, it's passable crap. Here's another one. 
similar to Crusher, but it's construction. It's a tow truck. Now, why would a tow truck be a construction truck? Um, can I? Oh, you can turn this left and right. The question is, will it hook any of the vehicles? Let's pull out. Um, let's pull out flat face McVan. Now, will you hook on there? No, of course you bloody won't. And that makes you useless. God, true. Almighty, my phone is pinging at me. There's another one of those there. These are all duplicates. Duplicate, duplicate, fire engine duplicate. Oh, my goodness. I think we've only got one more car that's technically... Oh, we've got two that are technically unique. So we'll pull those out and look at them. And then we'll pass judgment. And this is one of them. Um, it's uh, power. Power. It's got no articulation, but it does have wheels that spin. Tang. Oh, people responding to what I said on Facebook. Don't know why they'd ever do that. Like, it's not even interesting enough to be here. It's just a lump of plastic. God, this is depressing, isn't it? Here we go. Here's the last one. We'll do a fire rescue because the other fire things have been good. 112 fire station. 112. 112. Now, I'm going to assume that means station 112 and not 112 is the number you ring. Because if 112 is the number you ring, that's the non emergency number. Oh, my goodness gracious. I was expecting bad. But I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting this sort of quality. Like this one that we looked at. We might have already looked at this one. We might not. I don't remember if that video has gone up or not. You know, this is the kind of quality from cheap knockoffs I expect. Right? It, it's bad, but it, it's good bad. You know, and that's been played with. I like that one. This was meant to be 20 bloody quid. 20 effing quid for this. It's, it's awful. Like, that's genuinely made you cross. Made you? Made me cross. Look at all these. I said, these are the ones from the car boot sale. All this combined was about five quid. These good quality toys was about five quid. This off the eBay was about five quid. This from a charity shop was a pound. They want 20 quid for these trashy pieces of crap. Wow. Oh my goodness gracious, that's made me genuinely quite cross, if you couldn't already tell. And I think that would be an excellent point to leave this video off at, because these are awful. Now I'm going to put, admittedly, I'm going to place a couple of these, so I'm going to hold on to this one for video purposes. So hello is going to go over there. I'm going to hold on to those two, or at least I'm going to hold on to this one, because I actually quite like this one. It's pretty much the only one on the set that I genuinely quite like. And it's the only one that has any quality to it. It feels cheap and horrible, but you can see some effort actually went in on this one. And the rest of them are going straight in the bloody bin. And if I never buy a Wilco's Roadster, because this is crap as well. No way near as good as I thought it was. God. God. This cost almost as much as those micro stars, and they actually have a resale value. I couldn't sell this if I tried. Do you know how many of these I saw at the car boot sale the last time I went to one? Loads of them. Ooh. Oh my, oh my. Right, let's close out on a pleasant note. A very pleasant note. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And you get to look at this lovely, I think it's a Humber Hawk. Let's see what it says on the bottom. Yes, you can look at this lovely Humber Hawk from Dinky Toys. That was given to me by Dr. Roy Enza. With a suspension and if you test it left or right, it steers. In fairly nice condition, I've had this for years. It's very, very dusty. So yes, here is a lovely toy car for you to finish this video on. As I said, do not forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I hope you'll join me for future videos. And don't buy this crap.